Hi folks, right back to the knife painting. Three colours, uh... oh we've got them down the wrong way. <sighs> Always do this the same way, I know where my colours are without having to, oh, it's pretty obvious I know but but I've been doing it for years, my, my yellows round here to the red, the blue, I'm not going to use blue, and, and the reds, the siennas, burnt sienna, uh, and the Payne's Grey. Uh, right, uh, I did this one. Oh, it's got to be 18, 20 years ago. <laughs> Down in Watergate Bay, we were camping there with our trailers and with a couple of friends, having a whale of a time. And we walked along Watergate Bay in a mist. You couldn't see anything. I'm not sure whether these fishermen I invented them. I don't know, but it was just it was just this mist. The horizon had just disappeared. So I'm going to do a version of that. This is chipped, and you can see the burnt sienna ground colour that I put on it first. Turn me radio down. Right, so there we are. Uh, we'll put that up there. Well, I'll put it there so I can see it. So I'll, I'll do a rough sketch of it. Uh, so we've got a horizon. We don't want it to, it's too high horizon. And we're coming up here on these rocks, then coming down. It's a very rocky beach, but beautiful sandy beach. So Watergate Bay is a national treasure. <coughs> We've got Strasse there. Let's come up here with that. Uh, we've got a bit of wavy stuff here. The horizon really is above that, but we won't paint that in. And um, we've got another big rock. Bit of sand in there. Uh, And this big, big rock here. We'll see what we can make of that. Okay, fisherman, I'm not sure about. Uh, see what I feel like. I'll have to use a quite a fine brush for those, and have to and rest somehow. Rest on. Well, I can do that. You could do it with a brush. So I'll put a brush on, on here and work like that. Okay, well I'll, I'm going to just use uh, the, the grey with, with some uh, Payne's grey and a bit of ochre just to give it a bit of warmth. Probably need more white than that. Right. Turn me radio down so much. I'm listening on headphones. Okay, now let's. Oh, wait a minute. I'll just repair the hole in that uh, in there. I must have jogged it a bit. Right, okay, not jogged it, but uh, almost a Kathy, I forgot what I was going to say then, Kathy Williams type of palette, but I'm sure I used uh, I'll put that out of the way, but it's just a bit too close for comfort. So I just want this murky, yellowy grey. I might see the edge.
I'm not going to an exact copy of what, what was there, but uh, it'd be more or less. I can't remember whether I did it from a photograph or from memory. I didn't take a sketch because it was too... <laughs> well, I might have done. I usually carry a sketchbook if I'm out on, a, on the coast somewhere. But I'm not a great drawer, I don't practice it. I, I draw well enough to be able to, to paint. With some of the knife sh knife marks showing. Right. Okay. So that's. Uh, that's that bit done. A swig of tea while we just uh, contemplate. Oh, I, I, I really do enjoy doing this. I, I'm just thinking if I could just put a bit of dark on the horizon, going up a little bit, so that we can counter change a little bit against okay so we're going a bit streaky there that's okay I just want you to graduate down to a slightly darker background so that I can counter change the uh, the waves Very heavy on the old whoops on the on the paint. Do use a lot. Okay, let's get that up there. So no horizon for my friend Letty to say always oh, there's a lump on the horizon. <laughs> Oh, I've gone, uh, I've gone over that rock, haven't I? Ah, oh, right, well, we're kind of that. We'll go to there. Take that off. Just a little bit down here. Right, let's get that rock. That rock in. So it's a bit darker. Let's have a bit of, bit of burnt sienna in there. Love burnt sienna. I've got a bit, a bit dark in the bottom of that. For a bit of counter change.
screw that up there a little bit. Because if I put the fisherman on, I want them somewhere on there. Okay, so that's the, that's the other rocks. I'm going to put in some uh, waves coming up here. But not white. Want that to. See, the paint grey tends to go to a lovely. A lovely sort of a bluey grey, although well, I've got burnt sienna in this. So. This is a great surfing area. The next bay round, the big bay round, the headland, the Nuki headland, is Fistral Beach, where the European Surfing Championships are held don't know if I'll be there this year tea, you mustn't forget me tea right, well, uh, that's a yellow It's sort of churning churn up the sand. Okay, well that's uh, coming on. Coming back into the light behind the shadow of that to rock. Not that there's m many shadows. Certainly no reflections. So I mean, really, the waves really do come in. Right, I'll change the knife now because I want to uh, come down here now with the... Uh, that's going to be a bit tricky. Uh, so let's mix up some colours, some... A bit of warm, warm colours and I know there's a lot of ochre coloured rocks. Be careful, I don't go into the sky doing it. Bit of muddling.
Okay, well, we're, we're getting there. <coughs> There's some lighter stuff in here. Well, we want dark in that base. Right now, uh, get a bit of a, so a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of ochre. We get some sort of green. Let's do that other rock now, but before we do, we need to um, come down and just finish that shape. Uh, so he's got a bluey tinge. We mix it with white. So the paint is grey. this nice bit of light in here because the, the tie is really coming up. A bit of artistic license I think that was. Let's get some ochre in there. Right, now then, we've got to do this one here. Using the heel of the knife here. But we need the warm colours here to to counter change against the the, the misty colour. I guess a bit more. Depth in that, I think. <laughs> Go away. We're not in. Got a counter change. Okay, that's all right. That's a bit of light. Here and there. All right, let's get some dark in that bottom.
bit of strata there. And some nice muddy ochre now. Bit of blue, I mean bit of paint grey. Let's have a little bit of a bit of water coming over there. Okay, now let's give this a uh, let's clear that off. I've got a pad of a wad of wadge of paper clipped to the board here, my sort of makeshift table. Get it with that grey. I'll go right to the edge just in case this ever sells. And, and uh, you, it can be mounted as, a, as an oil painting or as, you know, the, the modern thing now is to stick it on a piece of white painted hardboard with a, a white frame stuck around the edge of that. It may be a bit more dark in there too, because that is just a bit too white compared to that. So we'll have to do a little bit there, I think. Maybe that is just a bit too, too white. Some of that, those waves there. Let's uh, go back to our wavy colour. A bit of white or a light colour here. Okay, uh, I'm not sure I want to put a fisherman in. Let me know what you think. But I will put this up for sale on Etsy, one way or the other, uh, for about £65. But that will include postage, tracking, 
so I don't make that as much as you think I might make. So we've got a bit of bit of water coming round here, but but we want that sand to be a little bit. Well, no. What I was going to do was to put in some little bit of reflection of that. So put that there. Okay, I'm going to put that in the mount if I dare. Let's move this first. This will take about a week to dry. Uh, oh, it'll all come off. Right, okay. Got me framed. This is original, nobody's ever painted this before. In memory of Watergate Bay and Mist, Misty walking along the Watergate Bay. And there we are. There you see why I absolutely love these oil paintings with knives. There we are. I think we've got enough counter change between there and there. So I'm not going to change that. Well, I think that's a nice little painting. I hope you do too. Got to go and do an errand now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.